Greetings, my lovely, lovely, stonking, gorgeous tubadors. Been a while, haven't it? It's been a while. Um, nearly a month, I think, since my last video, and with very good reason. Um, I haven't just been ignoring YouTube. I didn't get bored of it or anything, but uh, whilst I haven't been uploading to YouTube, um, I have still been keeping a close eye um, upon all my sort of favourite content providers, so... Massive congratulations to fellow Welshman, the Creaky Blinder. Um, he's come a hell of a long way in his uh, content providing in the last year. Um, and he's done an absolutely magnificent job. I wish that I could make videos half as good as his. But there we go. If I'm half as good as him, it just means that he's twice as good as me. So, I've also been keeping an eye um, on the usual sort of retards and flatards and uh, the usual other idiocy, idiocy peddlers in various other parts um, of the internet. So I've been lurking in these, you know, these dark little corners, making my presence felt. And one such corner is Facebook, which I know many people would not consider to be a particularly sort of uh, dark recess of the internet, but there are certain parts of it where the, shall we say, more sensible often fear to tread. And I'm talking specifically about one page. Um, I'm talking about this place, Disclosure Now, okay? Now, as the site header suggests, um, it's a place for discussion on various fringe topics, but I don't want you to get the wrong idea about this particular page. It's not your usual woo-woo peddling sort of nonsense place. Um, the page owner, who I have had some, you know, private correspondence with, um, is, is a very level-headed sort, and uh, he's set this site up with the intention of approaching certain fringe subjects with a sort of logical and sensible discussion in mind. Um, however, as you might expect, it does attract your, you know, fair share of, of nonsense merchants, um, you know, Crystal Pixies, Space Brother True Believers, and surprise, surprise, Flat Earthers, although they do get very, very short shrift there to the Flat Earthers. Now, because of this, um, several topics are off the table. Um, not only flat earth, but things like, you know, crystal therapy, um, even politics. Even so There's even some mainstream stuff that's off the table. But uh, it's, it's mostly a place for debate on things like, you know, uh, UFOs, alternative technologies, that sort of thing. It's a very, very good site. Um, now, I, I was actually asked to join this group um, by the page founder and one of the admins. Um, they were involved in another thread on another page. I can't remember which one that was, but I was on there um, countering some dumbass pseudo-nonsense that some other idiot uh, was spouting off about. And they were impressed enough by my, um, by my opinions and by the way I presented them, um, backed up with proper data and fact that they actually asked me to join the Disclosure Now page, which I did, um, in order, I think, just to bring a bit of critical, critical thinking to it. But what is the point of this video? Well, first, some, some context, I think. Now, as many of my lovely subscribers know, I, I don't hold with, um, with BS, you know, um, crystals, astrology, orbs, flat earth, as far as me and every other sensible minded person on the planet is concerned, it is, for the most part, nonsense. Um, I also feel very much um, the same about the vast majority of conspiracists. Um, these populate the entire interweb. Um, you know, everything from, you know, NASA lies, uh, the Earth is flat, um, Kennedy was killed by Peppa Pig, all that sort of nonsense. And you've only got to spend a very short time on Facebook just browsing around and you'll see pictures posted of some, you know, plain old rock on the Martian surface, surface. somebody's convinced there's an alien, and pe people actually still posting the picture that came out of the face on Mars, um, which even years after it was roundly proven to be nothing more than um, a sort of geological mesa formation with a few strategic pixels missing fra from the image, um, which is hardly surprising considering that that data stream had to travel 140 million miles through space 
and I think it started off at no more than about four watts. So by the time it got here, it was literally, you know, fractions of, of a milliwatt of power, which we had to pick up, reassemble into an image and present. And I think considering the difficulties involved, they did a pretty good job of it. But um, there are, you know, there are people who still think this face is real. There are even people who still think that the Cottingley fairies are real. Um, but let's not go down that road. Then yesterday, right, let's bring it back to the now. Yesterday, on this Disclose Now website, somebody point posted this. The claim being that it is a 1968 Israeli shekel, one shekel piece, depicting the 9-11 terrorist attacks on the World Trade Center and is therefore proof of an Israeli slash Jewish conspiracy to bring down the Twin Towers. 33 years before the actual attack itself. Now, I'm a banknote collector. I collect banknotes from all over the world. I collect vintage British banknotes. Um, I've got thousands of them. And existing in the world of sort of currency collecting and dealing, I've seen more than my fair share of coins and medals. So I instantly recognise this not to be a 1968 one shekel, but it is in fact um, a medal produced in 1967 in Israel to commemorate the end of the Six Day War. And this is why it's got a plane and a tank on it. And being as Israel is um, a Jewish state, uh, it also has a depiction of the Torah, which as most people know, is always written on a scroll for use in synagogues. Now, the ardent conspiracist who posted this doesn't see this. Instead of a Torah, they see the Twin Towers with an aeroplane flying into them. Now, a few things are instantly amiss with this uh, conspiracy theory, not least that the Twin Towers didn't actually exist in 1967. But this is proof that the bulk of conspiracists will always comment on what they can see and not what is actually there. Now, I've used that little exchange there as uh, as an example of what usually goes on on this site. And the vast majority of comment likes always go to the comments that um, that counter the conspiracists and, you know, bring a little bit of critical thinking into a thread. Which leads me, I know, I've got a roundabout way of coming to these things, but it leads me to my main point, which is that some of these conspiracists are very good at manoeuvring themselves into positions where they can promote theirs and others woo woo agenda um, whilst working to silence those who disagree with them and present data that proves their disagreement and this is a classic classic example of what we're up against this is jacqueline now, I'm not going to give you the rest of her name, but she is one of the admins on the Disclosure Now page. The problem with Jacqueline is that she is a full-on space brother-believing crystal pixie and doesn't like anyone to argue a position counter to hers. She's actually one of those people who, you know, really pops her tampon with anyone uh, who doesn't agree with her 100%. Um, she actually takes it very personally, which is not a good mindset for anyone who is supposed to be a, a neutral admin. Now, I've had run-ins with her before, but today, which is, I think, the 28th of October today, things really came to a head. Now, she made a post concerning crystal healing, and I can't show you that post for reasons which will become apparent. Um, now, in the post, she made all the usual, you know, BS statements um, about how it's been used for millennia by uh, various cultures to cure everything from you know bad breath to cancer. Um, this, of course, needed a sensible response. So I simply pointed out that if crystals are a genuine cure-all, then why don't we see them used in hospitals? I also pointed out that to promote, promote rocks as a source of medicinal healing is no different to promoting anti-vaccine as a means of staying healthy. So this woman, with her massively overinflated sense of self-importance, decided that the best way to deal with my opposition to her pseudo-scientific nonsense was to unceremoniously uh, eject me from the page. You know, no warning, no message, bang, gone. I went to comment upon another post that somebody else had put up, nothing. 
and then join now. I had a look on the page, you know, there it is. Join now. I thought I'm already a member. No, I'm not. Things are in hand, though, you know, because I thought it was a bit harsh, you know, but it turns out that she has a, an agenda and not just one to promote pseudo BS. But uh, they say, you know, I am in correspondence with other people adjoined to the page, so, you know, watch this space. But this other, ge other gender, agenda of hers. Now, the reason she posts pictures of these crystals, and specifically these sorts of crystals, uh, and promotes their healing properties is because she sells these crystals, you know? Um, and they're not even crystals. She actually makes them from resin, you know? Um, she puts pictures of them up and says, um, oh, these are not for sale yet. I have to test their energy and their power before I offer them for sale. It's a piece of plastic for goodness sake with some pretty colors in it, you know? Now, as far as I'm concerned, this puts her in the same camp as the more prominent flirtifers like um, Mark Sargent, Nathan Oakley, and uh, our, our old favourite Bob Nodell. You know, they know that the Earth is a sphere. They obviously know the Earth is a sphere. But they make far more money propagating the nonsense of flirtism. So they maintain this illusion that they believe the Earth is flat. She knows that some desperate people will buy into anything that offers, you know, a single iota of hope. Um, so she knocks up these resin pyramids and, and hawks them off as Q-rolls, but she uses her position as an admin on, you know, a specific topic page in order to do this. Now, the world is full of these charlatans. The world is full of idiots and conspiracists and flurfers for some reason. You know, these people, they prey on the simple-minded and the gullible, and just like fireworks in October, there seem to be more and more of them every year. Anyway, rant over. Needless to say, I'm back, and I will be back more regularly. Um, if you're already subscribed, I thank you. Um, but a couple of, you know, a few more subscribers pop in this week, including Steaming Cup of Reason, who I've... Uh, Come across a few more, few times before. I think on uh, on the Shills page um, during the sort of live hangout. Thank you for subscribing. Um, if you're not subscribed, please do consider it. Give the uh, give the little subscribe button a click. Hit the bell notification. YouTube will send you an email on my behalf, my behalf, telling you when my next rant, my next observation, my next opinion drops onto YouTube. So. Again, thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. Please look after yourselves. Look after each other. Be nice. And I will catch you next time. Until then, Holvaur.